day is finally upon us where we have every single member of the TFC Superion set. So let's actually take a look at these guys in uh, their order here. So the first one that we got released was Phantom. Just to show them off and this is your uh, Fire Flight in terms of the Superion set. We then got Eagle over here who is Air Raid. And I just love, they did a good job with the different planes. They really look good in their alt modes here. I highly recommend them. Um, I would debate picking this guy up a couple more times as my Seekers, which is the rumor that was supposed to happen. We'll see. Then, of course, we got both X-Ray, who's riding on top of uh, Silverbolt. Looking good. Now, I have a uh, Megatron 31 made a white cast canopy for me and then I just filled it in with yellow paint so it kind of matches a little bit nicer. Uh, I highly recommend that. He also makes blue canopies if you don't like the uh, yellow ones and uh, blue eyes which you've seen in the previous reviews. And uh, a couple different options actually for uh, the combined mode. And then Phantom came out or Phantom may have been last but I got Phantom first. And he, or not Phantom, Harrier, I'm sorry. And this is Slingshot. And then finally you've got Skydive who is uh, Falcon, F-16 Falcon. So very cool, very cool looking alt modes. I really like how they did these. There's really not much to say about these guys that hasn't been said in their individual reviews. If you're interested in that, check it out. Through the power of video editing, let's go ahead and take a look at the team. So we'll start with what every team needs, which is a good leader. And here we've got our silver bolt analog here, sporting some really nice blue light piping, courtesy of Megatron 31. And let's bring in our uh, fire flight here. Again, close up with the blue light piping. Pretty nice looking. And we'll bring in Air Raid slash Eagle. Now this guy is most definitely the happiest member of the team with his little smile there. I don't really care for that compared to the rest of the team. But anyway, we'll put him there. And we'll bring in Slingshot here. Sporting his nice new blue light piping. And we'll put him on this side here because he's too similar to Fire Flight. And finally, we'll bring in Phantom. Nope, Falcon. I'm sorry. Phantom Falcon. And we will put him next to Phantom there. And I guess if we really have to, we can bring in the scrappy new guy who doesn't really fit, on, fit in on the team. But really wants to be a part of it. And you can see that they really do make a nice looking set together. Alright, so through the power of video editing yet again, I have them all back into their airplane modes here, which makes me think I probably should have started with their robot mode. But before we go on to actually transforming these guys into their various things, let's talk combiner bits. Now we got the two hands, pretty normal, nothing to complain about this piece which is going to make the handle for the gun and then we got the feet and I don't know if it's just mine or if others are like this but one of these comes with a different color connector and I don't really understand why that decision was made uh, once it's on the toy you can't see it anyway but just kind of weird that everything would be white and then suddenly one gray piece works its way into the mix <clears throat> oh well really a minor complaint I guess so let's actually start with the arms. Now personally for the arms, you can leave the wings on. I choose to take them off because it really feels like they limit posability when they're on. So I just kind of pull them off and back into their box they go. Um, I'm not gonna put them on for this review. I really don't like how they look. So to get him to his uh, arm mode, we're pretty much gonna go ahead and do what we had to do to put him into a robot. We'll take all this, we'll fold it up like so. And we'll take the front piece here. 
and plug this on in. And then what I like to do here, we gotta take this chest piece down because we gotta expose our combiner joint here. And then what I try to do is keep his head like this uh, so we try not to see it as much as we can um, when it's in robot mode, like so. And then just fold the arm pieces on up like this. And then it's just a matter of swiveling this on out and around. If you want him to be a little longer, you certainly can extend his legs to get the, the right length that you like. Uh, I just keep them in, personally. And we'll grab one of his combiner pieces here. And we'll just plug it in between the uh, thrusters here. Peg everything back together. And it looks like that. Now just to show, you could put the wings on and they sit on the arms like that. But, I mean, it just feels like it gets in the way of all the pieces to me. Uh, this one's not so bad. I find that Harrier is worse than Fireflight. But regardless, I keep them out because... I prefer them not to be there. So, yeah. There is Phantom slash Fireflight. We'll come back again with Harrier. I take these wings right on off. And that's that. And Harrier is probably worse because of the extra landing gear and stuff. But, whatever. Take these. Fold them on in and up. Like so. Then we'll fold this up and out of the way. Fold this piece up. Like that. Get everything to peg together. And now with Slingshot slash Harrier here, one thing I didn't notice note last week is that this whole piece to move all this together works way nicer than it did on Fireflight. So they definitely learned something off of Fireflight and uh, worked with it. Flip this up, flip that down, flip the combiner piece, and again, do something with the head so we won't see it so much. I do like to have these so when we're looking at a side view, we don't see it quite as much kind of hiding like that. I feel like it hides it a little bit better like this, and I'm going to give them just a little bit of forearm. Something like that should be about good. What did I do here? Here we go. Give him his hand here. And he's now ready to go. And we'll set him to the side. Now we'll move on to the feet. We've got Eagle here. Uh, we'll take these missiles off. These are so sharp, it's not even funny. I'll take that off, like that. And we're going to take all this and rotate it back like this. You, there's a number of different things you can do with the wings. I just rotate mine back, like so. There we go. Flip these pieces on down. Flip this down. And for Eagle here, we have to split the nose cone here, which reveals his little uh, radar dish inside his guidance system. Like so. And then that'll fit down like this. And we have to come to possibly my least favorite part. Fold these back. Trying to get these blasted thrusters out. So I split the legs, uh, it makes it easier, and then I kind of pull up on the thruster and then push down, and that gives me a little bit of gap that when I have some fingernails, I can get in there a little bit easier. We'll see if it actually wants to cooperate today. There we go. Flip that thruster up. Second side work like a champ. Now I'll we'll take the foot piece and you're gonna see that regardless which piece we put in it does it you can't see it I assume that probably this is molded in gray because it probably was molded with the jet piece and not the actual foot piece and all these jets have white on them somewhere except for um, skydive slash uh, 
phantom. So that's probably ultimately why it happened. There we go. Oh, I pegged my finger in there. That hurt. <laughs> anyway, so we take that. Everything sits like this. We take his head here. We open this chest cavity and we bring this on down. And you can see that we have the tab here and the hole here. And you just kind of take this and tab it in like that. So it looks like this. Put his foot back on. And he's pretty much ready. What they tell you to do with these is to just take them and peg them in like this. I'll be interested to see how much better they look when we get that uh, upgrade set, which I'm definitely getting for this. So we'll take our final guy, Falcon, here, and we'll push his thrusters on in. And pretty much the same thing for the most part. Um, start by unpegging the wings take these off and then we'll unpeg his arms here just so we can split this now what you do need to do is take this again and just pegged on you can flip it around like so and you can do it without removing the peg if you're more nimble than I am. So take that, put everything like this, and then attach his foot piece. Like so. Connect everything up. We can put that back together. We can peg these arms back in the side here. And we'll take these missile pieces in like that just kind of leave the things that the tail fins split like this because we're going to take this piece disconnect that and then this is just going to fold down like that and you can see it fits nicely in between there that gives us plenty of range for our knee joint here fold these back down to the front now you got to get this front piece open which is a little bit more difficult and flip his head around so his face is facing forward and then push this down like that and he has the same tab here but there's no tab there what actually kind of pegs is the screw hole will uh, peg into that round piece there and it just kind of sits like that and then we can take this uh, last piece or these missiles I should say and plug them right back into the, the fist like that just to hide the fist a little nicer there we go, we got that in. Looking good, we got another foot piece here. And uh, you don't really get a whole lot of forward back on these legs, you get side to side quite a bit. But forward back, not so much. Now, I left the mat off the ground here because I showed you last week the mod for Silverbolt to actually make them stand better. And I wanted to leave this because someone said, well, maybe the added weight of the arms will cause an issue. And I just want to show you that that's not the case at all. So, let's bring the leader finally. Silver bolt. And we'll take this off. We're going to extend out this gun just like this. It usually happens when you uh, train, or pull it off anyway. But bring that out. Bring this in. Bring these around like so. And then split this piece. And bring it back and there is a little tab on the inside here that locks it in place um, it's not terribly strong but it serves its purpose and we can take this piece here bring this down and just kind of plug the handle in I believe I have it the right way but we'll see for sure once I uh, combine it I'm not a huge fan of this gun I really am looking forward to the upgrade set once that hits just doesn't feel very secure and I don't know it's not very good so silver bolt stern I'm gonna take this and now I know some of you are gonna say well your silver bolt is modified mine is not you know he's gonna look different relax I've got you covered so I'm gonna take this and we'll fold these little flaps on in 
like so. I'm bringing this assembly up, bring this piece down. Those tabs should fit together like so. Just kind of bring the uh, thrusters back like this. Bring these pieces like that. And we'll flip his waist around here like so. And then we'll bring his combiner peg out. We might need to use the joint here. There we go. I'll do that again for you. I just basically rotated it on in and then rotated it back and that helps get your joint out. Now the one thing I don't like about Silverbolt is all this back stuff here likes to not really hold together too terribly well. So it does kind of flop around a lot. But anyway, we got him like this. We're going to take these arm pieces, flip them around at the top here. And then you should be able to take them and peg these on in like so. Up here. Then we'll take his arms and just kind of fold them down. And as you fold them down, they're going to plug into the sides here. And you'll see that that exposed the Energon port like that. We're going to now open the chest assembly, pull it away. And this is going to be slightly different if you haven't modified yours. But everything will come up like this still. And then you'll just keep yours down like this and plug X-ray on the top. For the modified, it goes up like this. And then, I was dumb. I forgot the head reveal. We take this out and we kind of pull his head on through here. And you'll see my head is modified. I've added some extra paint to it. I've given him the wonderful blue eyes. And since it's easier to show while we're like this, uh, he still does have his visor, except I replaced mine with a red visor, which I think, to me, just looks a little bit better. And then I painted gold onto these antennas to make them a little bit bigger looking, which I personally like the looks of. So there we go. We've got Silverbolt here. And this is the one with the modified, much more strong legs. So let's go ahead and plug everything together. Energon combiner style. And bring this up. And I'm running out of batteries on this camera. So, quick pause while we plug this bad boy on in. Perfect. Take his arms, plug them into the sides, like so. There we go. So, here we got him in combined mode. I had to cut for a second to uh, get a couple pieces arranged properly. And you can see, he does a pretty good job holding himself up with those mods. Um, he still, that's not to say he's not going to split. I mean, if you start splitting it like this, he's going to just topple down because that's the nature of the beast. He's pretty heavy. But he is uh, fairly capable of holding his own weight better than when he came from TFC. Um, you might even be able to put some thicker washers in there if you want. Um, I really like the TFC combiners. They really feel big and bulky, which is rather nice. Uh, the problem I have with them is that with these ratchet joints, you do have some weakness there. And because everything is so thick in places that it's really kind of hard to get him to pose in a way where he's not kind of leaning on one of the legs more than the other, like so. Um, yeah, so that's 
I guess a little bit of a problem with the TFC toys. Same thing goes for Herc, and uh, presumably it'll probably be the same way with their uh, Predaking that they're making. So let's give this guy his uh, weapon here and see what that looks like. Just pose his fist here. And we'll take this, kind of pull his thumb out of the way here a little bit just to make it easier to get in. And this will peg into his hand and does give him a nice gun to work with. Uh, I'm much more excited about the upgrade sets gun now. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty great. For posability on this guy, uh, you've got a very nice ball jointed head. Gives him plenty of options. Um, your standard uh, Energon combiner for articulation and then the big ratchets to get the in and out. Uh, the waist give elbow. Of course your wrists are just pegged on. Uh, you got silver bolt tips so that doesn't really change. Um, you do have waist articulation with that too. Knee joint again. Uh, dropping his gun here. You got to be a little careful with the knee joint because you're more likely to move the actual combiner peg on silver bolt than this actual knee ratchet, but you do have that, so just be aware of that. And then the ankles are on the tilt, and you do have the toe articulation and heel articulation to accommodate different possible poses which frankly on Superion are a bit tough to pull off just because of his overall size. So let's see if we can't get him to stand up all nice again because frankly it's hard to do on camera. I will say prior to modding this guy's legs he fell off my shelf so many times and went into so many pieces it wasn't even funny. So if you're like me, you probably bought this guy because you really wanted someone to go and battle your Herc. And there they are just for a size comparison here. You can see Superion is a little bit taller overall, but it's pretty close. So real quick, before we end this review, let's take this and let's pretend that we just want a stock silver bolt. You're not going to mod gears like I did mine. So let's bring him in so we can actually see what he looks like. Here he is with x-ray as the chest shield and an unpainted head. No blue pieces. So we'll take this and we'll figure out the easiest way to combine everything. Like so. As you can see, I haven't even really done much with him and his legs are already caving in, making him do the splits. Certainly doesn't take much. I highly recommend putting the washers in because it, it's not a huge difference. You'll still do the splits, but it's a lot lessened. Oh, I just stabbed myself with his plane, his tail fin. Cooperate for just a second more. There we go. That's all pegged in. And we can... See, I can promise you that putting those washers in doesn't make a huge difference. But a fairly significant difference. <sighs> all I want to do is stand him up next to Herc here for the comparison. And this is his combined mode. Well, thankfully it's showing off that the mod really does work, I suppose. Even though the other one was flopping a bit, it certainly took a lot more persuading than this one's doing. Alright, 
I think he's standing. I think he'll be okay for... Nope, he's going down. Anyway, so this is the combined mode if you don't do the modifications to him. Um, the chest shield doesn't look inherently bad. I think the G1 styled one is going to make this particular version look pretty darn awesome. But, uh, yeah. We'll stand him up next to Herc back here and hold his leg that keeps wanting to slide on out. Yeah, I highly recommend the mod. And I think that this is a fun set. Uh, I think Hercules was a lot more fun just because every single piece was unique. Um, where this one you basically had three pieces and then they were just kind of remolds when they did the last two limbs. But uh, overall I still think it's a good set and if you're into the big combiners then this is as big as you know they get at this point. I'm sure someone will make something bigger but I don't know if I necessarily feel the need to collect it. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'll see you next time.